What is up, everybody? It's me, Duke Farley, back at it again here on Lost at Sea. We are catching up a little bit on Big Brother. It's been a minute since we were back on this podcast. Um, thank you, Jordan and Jeff, for coming on. That was really awesome to talk to. You guys can catch that um, on the channel if you want. Uh, a couple clips there. Um, that was fun to talk to them. How are you guys doing, though? Pat, Uncle Shane, it's been up grad party recently so that, that was fun um but yeah duke, all right duke i i don't have you do you usually keep your uh casey case of microphone in the shot like i see it in the <laughs> shot i don't think i've never noticed it before just slowly <laughs> moves it back yeah, yeah. excuse me on that <laughs> um pat it looks like you have you you switched to the living room uh yeah so the, the dungeon upstairs yes so, so i'm typically used to the dungeon uh but for the for the real viewers for the real fans they would notice that this was like the first two episodes i was in here so anyway i switched back because uh the table i use upstairs in my room is no longer there so i had to find the next best thing when so who took your table and why it was just it kind of broke <laughs> so just with the amount of all the talent that's up there. So it kind of just gave out. Okay. And it was that kind of graduation party. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, let's get into um, Big Brother. Last time we spoke, obviously, was with Jordan. And we were talking about how Kyle kind of got a raw deal a little bit, we felt like, on his way out. Um, so a lot's happened since then. Um kind of pivot into this double uh elimination or the live night where we see two favorites of the pod and winter picks get eliminated um dj showtime and then uh michael so there's a lot of meat on the bone as we were talking before the show about um this this double eviction um what do you guys think it kind of shakes up the game right yeah, I mean, I mean, listen, we've been watching Michael dominate this whole season. And the fact that he's out now, there was part of me that was like, is the show going to be interesting to watch moving forward, taking out such a huge, you know, such a powerhouse? Um, the one thing I'll say about him leaving was uh, I thought he did a really great job. You know, it's like, once he knew that he was going to probably be out, he started to campaign and he didn't get a lot of time to campaign, right? He had moments to campaign. And I thought his argument was really good. I thought, I thought like, that's, that's why he was so good at this game is that he could think clearly and he was quick, like being able to say that you're not going to get credit for getting me out of the house, right? This is all going to be, this is all going to be, um, uh, uh, Monty's going to get the credit. So you might as well keep me. I thought he made a pretty good argument to keep him. And I wasn't, I wasn't um, sure that they were going to vote him out until they, until, until I actually saw them do the vote. Like I, I thought he did a really nice job. Also, like where was Brittany during this entire time? <laughs> like, was she just sitting yeah. in the elimination? <laughs> like, I feel like she didn't really yeah. make a pitch at all. I think I think it was also because you know Terrence nothing really surprising there. Terrence leaves, uh, fan favorite, but see ya. But as soon as they announced this is going to be a double eviction, you could see Michael's face kind of drop because he knew. He, he knew he was like, "I gotta like pull something out here," and I think also to go off of you, Uncle Shane, it was it was cool to see him kind of because I still am like. The whole using Kyle, kind of throwing him another bus, use like using that that whole race thing to the advantage. I was like, I don't know, that's kind of like a slimy thing. And so it was interesting to see him kind of panic because we haven't seen that. Like him, and he did. Like to the to the very end, I was like, I don't, I think they might keep him. But like in the back of my mind, they're like, you got to do this. You 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 can't yeah. not. And even uh, Turner. So the la like when he goes up to Monty and he goes, okay, what? And Monty's like, we're taking the shot, and you can see Turner be like, are are you sure? And Monty's the one who's like, yes, 
dude, we cannot, we, he cannot be in this house. And Turner is like about to leave, but then he comes back and goes, okay, make sure it ha- you, everybody's got to be on board or I'm done and we're done. <laughs> like the fear in their eyes just by this one competitor just shows how dominant Michael was throughout this entire season. And so it was cool to see uh, that. And then Michael just kind of like freak out. <laughs> like just that's the most like, like nervous and upset he's been. And we yeah. haven't seen that side to him. Right. So that, that was like, where is this coming from? You know what also uh, I liked is that when he's sitting in the chair and he takes that shot at Brittany, you know what it reminded me of? Do you ever get to see someone get punched in the mouth, right? Like not enough to knock them out, but like to stun them and they don't know what to do. She looked like she got punched right in the, like the lips because she was like, like, she was like, like she started to cry. She didn't know what happened to her. It was like that yeah. stun punch to the face. And then she couldn't even like, she had nothing to say, you know, she couldn't say <laughs> And it was so funny that she went first. She was like, um, you know, Michael's a great competitor. And then Michael just throws her ass under the bus. And, like, she didn't even give it a speech. Michael's like, she's this, she's that. And and just the the, the her face, she sucks. I'm sorry. And she sucks. <laughs> she's the worst. And she's trying, like, even throughout the these last few episodes, I'm like, you suck. You did nothing. And so... Right. But it, it, just that like stunned look of like, what do I do now? Yeah. But and then also we got. I think I want to say to you guys, what do you think about Michael's walkout? That's another thing I was going to bring up was the the whole everybody stay seated. I have one last thing to say, and then <laughs> fuck it, just. Leave. I you know, loved it, it. It was like a, it was one of those things where somebody's got like you know it's like. It's so stupid and in the grand scheme of things, but it made him feel a little bit better. Like, I can't do anything else to you. So I'm going to have 30 seconds where you guys all look like idiots on camera, (laughs) on national television. And that was enough. You know, it's like, I think remember that move. Oh, yeah. that That's like going to be almost as iconic as uh, Cody jumping up on the, like stepping up on the table and just walking right out. Those, those are always so fun, but I, 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 to go back, I really like the way Michael played it to the very end. He was like, I will cut anybody's throat. My best friend, like throughout this entire, I don't care. Like that's how much of a gamer he was. And I was like, ah, oh. and, and to, to go back on that too. It's like, it, I was also thinking, is this going to be any fun anymore? Yeah. Like, like that was the big concern, but I don't know. I think, I think it was kind of cool to see like the people we don't normal, not the domination, we get to see a little bit more of everybody's game. Turner says it like he has to even the playing field by eliminating Michael. It opens up first place, um, which obviously he, he would have won pretty handily if he gets to the end. What do you think of it? See, Pat, you mentioned it. What do you think of Turner was still on board to go with the dudes until Mike, until Monty was like, we have to, we have to go after Michael here. We might not get another shot. Do you think, do you think that was smart? <laughs> or do you uh, think no. Monty's right? <laughs> I think my like I, I feel like everybody was in that twilight zone of okay, let's who was it? It was it was like, oh okay, let's get Brittany out. And Monty just slaps the shit out of him and goes, What no? Yeah. What are you doing? We cannot like that would have been the dumbest move in Big Brother history if they don't because t- he's he's on a he's on a silver platter. He's right there. Oh my god! And I, I do think, I think Turner was completely like, okay, let's get Brittany out. Until Monty was the one who was like, Monty made that call one hundred percent. Yeah, Turner's like a company man, right? Like he, he's <laughs> always, he's always with like whatever. Like he always, he's not as manipulative as Monty, and he's so he's not as a good a player as Monty. Like Monty's like you, Monty makes you feel like he's on board until he realizes, no, this is my opportunity. And Turner would have stayed with the guys. Like it would have been, he never even thought of it. it was, that's why he was just like, oh, now? It's like, well, yeah, dude, that's the only <laughs> shot you had. <laughs> yeah. And I, I think like leading up to the double eviction where they made that pack of the guys, I was, and then when they said it was a double eviction, I was like, I hope they don't. I really, because it looked like they were going to go in the direction of the three of them. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. Really? I was like, does nobody have any self-aware? And like, but that's what we've been saying throughout this entire game. Does nobody have self-awareness? Like, does nobody see where the tide is turning? 
And thank God, Monty was just like, no, dude, we, we have to do this. And just the fear in Turner's face, it was awesome. That was, that was a great double eviction. How about, how about when Turner, when he puts uh, Michael up, he says, you know, um, you know, as the only other LGBT or whatever, you know, like, and, and um, it was only like the episode before that we find out that uh, Turner is actually bisexual. It was like, thank God they had that episode because I would have been like really confused, <laughs> confused because he's talking about his girlfriend or his fiance or something like that the whole time. And we just learned that he's <laughs> bisexual because like, all of a sudden he's like throwing this out like he's like now part of the, the, the club. I'm like, wait, what? Very yeah. What do do you think that uh do you guys think that Michael's gonna like kind of taint the jury a little bit and I, I mean he's gonna it's gonna be whatever Michael thinks because Michael rules I think Michael's a smart enough guy to realize that Monty got hit I think I think Michael's the kind of guy that would think nobody deserves this other than Monty because Monty got me out and I'm better than everybody else so I'm gonna give it to Monty that's my thought. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it's going to be a game recognizes game kind of thing there with Michael. Um, so, so do you guys like I don't I'm trying to think back probably to like Tyler Crispin season, a caliber of player as good as Michael has been. Um, I don't remember anybody from the past couple seasons that have been as dominant, I guess, as Michael. Right. No, no, I, I think I think Tyler Crispin's a good like accurate not i mean even i I would say michael is even better than like tyler like obviously and that's another one where tyler was such a dominant player but he kind of hid behind the shadows yeah and then you know it's you know sucks he didn't win because i i thought he had that game hit but he's and that's also goes into the fact of these final speeches are going to be everything because you can be such a dominant player like tyler crispin and lose it in the end or like paul he lost twice because of his uh his his final speeches like and so uh, and i think michael is like by far the best player we've or challenger we've seen in a very very long time yeah he's so, got the record now nobody uh, but nobody's in a position to make a great speech like Alyssa's not i mean what can she say first of all she's not a great speaker right she's like she feel like she doesn't feel like a game player um, she feels like she's like a radio contest winner who got into the house and is just lucky to be there, right? Like she, it's not like she's supposed to be there. Um, and Taylor is like, what has she done in the game besides wink at the camera, you know? And and start, start up two relationships, you know? Yeah. Another point that I had in my notes, what, <laughs> what is going on with love in the, in the Big Brother house this season? <laughs> Taylor... Um, and Monty just like making out <laughs> in the HOH room. Kind of crazy because she was like with what's it, Joseph, too? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I, yeah, I think that's, gonna... Go ahead, I'm that's sorry. a situation. That's a situation ship, as we've said. <laughs> that was a that was a situation ship. I don't know, dude. Messy, <laughs> messy as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what though? Like, and, and I, I got How do I put this? It's like, do you know how sometimes when they would sh- they would show like an HOH hookup, it's like, oh, this is kind of sexy. There was nothing sexy about the two of them coming together. <laughs> it was like almost like they just turned their head at the at, like and they bumped into each other and started kissing. It was like there's nothing yeah. cool about that. It's like you. It's like you put like, like, just like because they've been in there for all summer, and they've clearly not been able to do anything. And they're like, all right, well. It's like the last call at the bar. You're like, you're, 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 attra- you're attractive. I'm attractive. All right, let's fucking do it. And Monty's like, the heat of the bear. I'm like, what the fuck? That works? Oh, wait, yeah. What did he, what did he say? He's like, they're both in the HOH bed. And she's she's clearly like flirting with him. And he goes, yeah, yeah. if you want to come over here and get some heat of the bear. <laughs> and then they put uh, the bear noise. And I was like, really? That's, that's it? <laughs> If I said heat of the bear, I'd get slapped in the face. <laughs> what? What is that even like? What is he inferring? What does that mean? <laughs> it's like Monty's a big guy, I guess, but she's definitely like, shut the fuck up, come here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. She's as yeah, jacked that, as he is. Yeah. This is true. That was 
and it's it's so funny too because taylor and her dr she's like yeah i I definitely didn't notice monty at first and blah 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 and like this and that i was like wow this is like kind of insulting it's like she actually says on in her confessional (laughs) sorry joseph too oh yeah 1000 so she's still thinking about joseph yeah i wonder if when Monty watches the show back at the end of the se- season, if he feels a little bit like, you know, bad about himself. Yeah. yeah. But he, yeah. And it's, so that was weird. I I guess, but it's, so who won? Ta- Monty won. Monty won. So after Michael's evicted, Monty wins. And he puts up Alyssa and... Brittany. Yeah. Correct. Brittany. And yeah, that, that kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, and what do you guys think about like Alyssa saying to Turner, hey, if you don't vote for me, I'm going to not, I'm going to never forgive you. I'm going to like, again, taint the jury. I, I will not be your friend. I will not vote for you. That was like, also, I, I get it's your last ditch effort, but Turner saying it where he's like, well, now I don't want to vote for you. <laughs> Yeah, I I thought that was her only like like I wasn't mad at her for that because I felt like yeah. that's that's her thing, right? That's her power yeah. is you know, my friendship, right? That's all she had to offer or to take away. And he's like I always thought that he was a little soft, so he might go for that. And and then when he was just like, "Oh, I might, you know, I'm not going to go along with it just because that like was bothering me." I thought, "Oh, okay, maybe he's a little tougher than I thought." But um Yeah. But you know what was really interesting is that when, yeah. and I don't know if we saw it on the show or then we're just told about it later, is that Brittany tries to convince Turner to give her a sympathy vote, knowing full well she was going to vote for her. So she tries to trick him into it. I've, all, I've often thought, like, why don't more people do that? Um, but it sort of backfired. Like, did we see that or did we just hear that from a conversation? That was shown on one of the episodes after the vote happens, like her yeah, pulling in. Just from a conversation, right? But we don't see yeah. the conversation. Oh, and we, yeah. We, I think we see the conversation. Oh, we do? Oh, okay. The episode yeah. afterwards. She had pulled um, him into the yeah peanut butter room. I, yeah, <laughs> peanut butter room. I, I also think, do you think it was smart to get out, like, from, it was Monty's? No. I, yeah. I think that I thought Turner was going to vote out Taylor as well as Brittany. I thought yeah. Taylor was going to be eliminated. So I was surprised when um, it came back a tie. Like, I, I get that, like, Turner's big uh, fear was upsetting Monty. But yeah. I, I feel like it, right now, like, now at this point, after that, it doesn't matter. You have to win. It's like, if you piss off, like, I, I thought it was kind of foolish to – get rid of Alyssa has not done anything that is the number one person you want to be sitting next to and I get that they're like oh she's got friends in the jury but compared to everyone else she has played a such a lackluster game that it's like why would you not like Taylor's a much better competitor like like and she has a better story she's a, a much better story than Alyssa like plus because- Alyssa is like kind of on Turner's side like exactly out of, out of everybody that's left so i was surprised that turner votes out her anyway um yeah wait dude before you jump so um you know when we had jeff and jordan on the show right and they were talking about how jeff was working on jordan's behalf in the jury house if you think about it if you're sitting next to Alyssa, the first thing i do is i, I is i paint the picture how close she is to that racist right and that's like i really like <laughs> I, I stick him with that racist thing, hardcore, and that he is in love with a racist. I put that on that. You know, they're probably going to go. I'm the one that got him out. After this. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a great strategy yeah. there, for sure. That, yeah. But that's also, like, I, I just don't understand if I, – I, I just didn't get that because Alyssa's so not – a thread like it, it it didn't make any sense to me like taylor has taylor should have been gone was enemy number one for the first three four weeks she should have been out 
if uh, also if what's her Paula Paula, <laughs> if she doesn't Paloma. go home, t- Paloma. If Paloma doesn't self evict, Taylor's going home. If the next week it was Pooch, if he didn't make such a moron mistake, Taylor's going home. Yeah, if we'll he, link he, Pooch's he, TikTok here. Yep. <laughs> if if he doesn't volunteer, Taylor's going home. And then the third week, uh, if Daniel and uh, what's her name don't flip out on yeah, Taylor, she's probably yeah, Nicole. She's probably going home. But like that whole blow up kind of formed the leftovers. So for three weeks straight, she would have went home, and now she's gonna s- possibly sit in the final. She's sitting in the finals now. So if I'm Turner, I'm thinking like, who has a better story here? The showmance that didn't do anything, who was completely protected by Kyle, and then he got uh, he got evicted, or the person who was supposed to be out three weeks in a row and has managed to be a part of a giant alliance. Like, I, I don't know. That doesn't make any, and she also has H how many, she has one, two HOHs now and a couple POVs. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. I think um, Turner, like uncle Shane said is much, is very much like a kind of like a people pleaser. So I feel like the majority of the people wanted him to in the game at that point, wanted him to do one thing. So he felt like pressured into doing that, even though I don't think it was best for his game. Um, If I was Monty, I would have eliminated Turner from the bed when all four people got into the bed. (laughs) I mean, we've already established that that's filthy, right? Zingbot told him it's disgusting. Why is he getting in the bed with, you know, if you're Monty and you got the two girls, why are you letting Turner in to the van? Like, don't let him in the bed. Go down and hang with Brittany. Yeah. No one's hanging out with me. She was in a peanut butter a room by herself. She's like laying in a room by herself. It's like everybody else is upstairs. It's like that sucked for her. <laughs> I was all right with it, but yeah, let, yeah, let her Brittany stay sucks. <laughs> Brittany sucks. Um, and so yeah. so Alyssa gets eliminated. Yeah, Alyssa gets eliminated. Um, I. It was funny, Julie, talk, talking to her about her preparing for Big Brother for all these years, like how were the, you know, preparing for the competitions. Um, a little bit more difficult, <laughs> it seems like. Um, but uh, yeah, she played. She played a pretty uh, social game. Tried to do the best that she could and got pretty far in doing so. Um, so final H O H Taylor has won it. Right or final four H O H, we know Monty is the veto holder, so he now is ultimately making the decision. What do you guys think he's going to do? Do you think he's going to eliminate Brittany or Turner? I think he's going to eliminate Brittany. That first of all, that whole conversation after the fact of Brittany and Turner in the bathroom, so awkward. I loved it. I loved every moment of that. (laughs) Yeah. I wanted to I wanted to rip my skin off watching that. That made me so uncomfortable. Her just like mean mugging him and being like, I don't know. And then just her blatantly lying. I was like, listen, I get it. That's the only card you have right now. Because if you admit it, you're done. Like, well, she's not though. Like she really isn't even done. Like people want to bring her to the end because they know that they can beat her. So like, I don't know why she's, I don't understand why she's lying about it. I wish she would yeah. have admitted it. She could have admitted it to him and, and, and just been like, listen, you dirty little bitch. I'm going to do whatever <laughs> I want. And, you know, like, like, like why wouldn't I you run the show upstairs? It would be great yeah. television. Oh, yeah. Even that, that conversation, I was just like, you dirty little bitch. <laughs> you dirty little bitch. Take a shit. You're in the bathroom already. Hop in the shower. Oh. Uh. Go make yeah, a fucking I, rug. <laughs> Go make a fucking rug. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, I, I feel like we skipped over the segment where everybody's talking about what they would do with the money, and Turner's just like, I'd open a fucking cafe. <laughs> everybody's like, I, I want, I'll give it to my mom. I want to set them up financially. Like, my brother's yeah. sick. And, and Turner's just like, I'd open a coffee shop. <laughs> but you know what? They are also, they don't, they clearly don't know anything about money, right? Because they're talk- so it's like seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. You know, cut that right in half, and they're talking like it's this endless amount of money that just keeps coming over and over. It's like, guys, that's a house. You're done, yeah. and, it's like, and it's not even a full house. Maybe I mean, yeah. but they're like, 
my, I, I'm going to retire my mother. I'm going to take her around the world. I'm going to take her 16 sisters that live together. And move them. It's like, they keep going on and on. It's like, okay, you still don't have money left though. So, so now you're in debt again. Yeah. Yeah. What do you so guys- in actuality, Turner's the only one who's like, yeah, I'll probably just open a shop. And I'm like, all right, well, that's probably the only thing you can do. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think about Monty sleeping through one of the most like crucial competitions so far? He had two minutes to get outside, literally outside, and he had to do a skin. What was he doing? <laughs> I, I, for the life of me, I was trying to figure out what like his steps were that he has to do that were so important. <laughs> he just had to like take a dump or something. He didn't want to say that. <laughs> that might That's be insane. what it was. I felt yeah. like he had like his little like case. He was gonna like he was gonna like like That's give what, yeah. some lotion. Yeah. And, it, oh, dude! But the funny thing about the lotion was like that was like the start of them showing the relationship between him and Taylor. It was like, and it was like, you ready to do the lotion on the back? Yeah. It was like kind of like, oh man. Uh, he's like, can you get my lower ass crack right now? It's quick. And so it's DJ Showtime getting tattoos. <laughs> yeah. I yeah I I don't know that was a weird. I'm surprised Monty didn't have because they're they're actively counting down too. It's not like he was like, I wonder when I should get out there. <laughs> I think Taylor was the one that was like yelling to him, like, come come down, like hurry up. Yeah. I wouldn't have said shit. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Turner needed him, right? Oh like, yeah. yeah. And so like if I was Turner, I'd be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. And he and he does say, he goes, dude, I'm like, this is the biggest veto of the summer and you just you're just hanging out <laughs> so monty Crazy. had to take a little dookie um and did not make it down in time um and so you mentioned pat you think that monty's going to eliminate britney you really think I, that i think so i i think if i don't know either because i because here here's the weird situation now we got taylor who's sleeping with monty and like right after they uh they uh he wins the veto they're like making out in the fucking hoh room brad i'm like oh my god what is happening so now she has this like really big influence on him so i think maybe there's a because taylor's like i want Brittany to go all the way and i think they're both gonna cut monty which is like ice in the veins cold as hell taylor damn like she doesn't give a fuck uh so i don't i don't know i don't i think if monty's smart he'll probably eliminate uh britney because i i honestly think turner if he were to win the final he would take monty i don't think he'd bring taylor because i i think he has a way better shot of beating monty than he does taylor i don't think anybody any of them the only person who I could maybe see be beating Taylor is may, maybe Monty, but I, I don't think I don't think anybody's got a chance against Taylor now. But that's that's the way I think. But you don't think Monty looks good by cutting Turner? Like they were partners, 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 and then when he needed to <sighs> cut him, so he he so he's responsible for taking the two biggest threats out of the house. I think that's it, like a win for him. Yeah, but I mean, but Monty has had, took the biggest threat out. Like, yeah. like actively, actively, he could pitch it as, "Hey, you know, uh, Turner was gonna allow Michael to steamroll. I'm the one who stopped him." So, like, I think, like, we had made this final. Like, I don't know. I think, I think Monty has a better chance of winning against Turner than he does uh, Taylor, in my opinion. But so, I think if he's smart, he'll probably get rid of Brittany. And then I think Turner would probably take Monty. And I, I think Monty's in the best position to go to the final three. I think uh, either way, somebody's picking him to go. But I think – Except um, for Taylor. I think if I were to rank it on who I think in the best position to win if they get there, I would go Turner, then Taylor, Monty. And those two are very close. And then Brittany I don't think can win. But I think – I think everybody wants to go to the end with Brittany because they know that they can beat uh, Brittany. So 
I'd be super shocked if Monty doesn't eliminate Turner. But Turner's such the guy that would take that to heart and go I to think, the jury and rip him apart. Yeah. I think he loses Turner's vote because Turner's super emotional, and I think he'll be, like, very mad about that. But like you said, Uncle Shan, I think if Monty has – gets re- he's the reason why Michael's gone, best player in the game. Turner, another probably, want, like, next best player. And then if Monty gets finds his way – wins his way to the end – I think that's enough for Monty to win. And if he's sitting up against Brittany. Oh, well, yeah. I, I think if any of them sit up next to Brittany, it's an easy, you just wrote, my, you were living in the shadow of Michael. Like that's, a, I, I think that's an easy, you know, easy argument. She didn't win anything. I don't think she's won. She's won one veto. Guys, let so, me ask you this. Brittany is sitting against, uh, sitting up against Monty. I'm sorry. Uh, Wait, let me think about this. So, uh, say, okay, say Monty takes out um, Turner, right? And he's sitting with uh, Brittany at the end. Who does Michael vote for between Monty and Brittany? I, I, I think he doubt Monty. he votes for Brittany. Yeah, I think he votes for Monty. Yeah. Yeah. He votes for Monty. And yeah, then yeah. to her like she got punched in the face again. And she <laughs> yeah. yeah, I I, th- I could see also- I could see everybody voting for Monty, and maybe Michael is the one person that votes for Brittany just to say like, okay, you were on the season. Like, but um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I but I also think because I think I think Taylor has the best shot to win right now. I think if anybody because she'd also be the first female black winner. Which is like you have to take that into account, and the, that's going to be a huge thing for the jury. She's also a professional at giving speeches too. Like she's Miss America or whatever. Like she's she gives, and she, every time she's given a speech when she's been on the block, it's been insanely good. So I don't know. I think she, and if she has time to do that, like I think she can handle questions. Throws she's in a, a couple of winks. Throw, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she but, this, but the oh, southern. Oh, the yeah. Southern girl doesn't like her, right? Like the, a lot, so there's a couple of those girls that, yeah. in, the, in the um, and then the other one, the Brazilian one, they just never liked her. <laughs> like they were threatened yeah. by her from the beginning. So why you think they're going to get on board while they're in the jury house? Uh, yeah, that that's the thing too. Where, but like the, they Alyssa also, will be fighting for her though. Alyssa will, Alyssa will be definitely fighting team for, girl. Michael, I think too is going to be team Taylor. Uh. Because he said when he was evicted, if they would have kept me, I would have been loyal to Taylor. What if Monty? So, what if Monty goes to the jury house and talks to you know Joseph about that's uh, that's, that's crazy, yeah. About what's going on? Um, <laughs> DJ Showtime, not a fan of ter- uh, Taylor's though. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a it's tough, but I I I think I don't know. I think the girls will come around. I don't know. I think. Terrence just does not like Taylor for whatever reason. But, yeah. you know, I, it was also weird when she nominated uh, Brittany Turner. She made a whole pro- – she did that thing again. She she, she winked at the camera. It's like she did this thing where she walked up and then turned the key and then, like, walked back and then walked up again and turned – I was like, half paying this? attention to that. And she – yeah, she walks into the – she, like – does anybody yeah. else do that, or is everybody always positioned no. right at the table? <laughs> Everybody's positioned at the table, so she must have put it down, taken three steps back, said this, and it's like the first nominee is walk up. And then I was like, "What?" Kind of like I've that. never because those that. are really boring usually, and she made yeah. it fun. She I can like, see yeah. the producers being like, "Wait, what is she doing?" Oh, all right, we'll keep it. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she does a spin into it. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I, I think being the first black female winner i think is going to hold a lot more weight than than take monty taking out michael game yeah. wise it would just be like people would want to do it for the historic reason uh but i mean taylor has a great story i think taylor's got has probably had one of the roughest first three weeks of anyone in the big brother house so coming from literally rags to riches i think I think that that might be her goal or storyline, and that's going to be a tough one to 
beat. Yeah. It'll be interesting um, to see, you know, who wins the final HOH and that decision that they do, who Monty eliminates. The only other thing that while we were talking, I was thinking about, um, I thought it was really fun to see Julie Chen in that competition where she's doing the <laughs> fashion transitions. What you-, you did? I don't know. I wanted to see what you guys thought of it, basically. I didn't, you know, the thing is, I was as bad as Turner. Remember, Turner was just like, I have no idea. Like, how many times? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, I had no idea. Like, I didn't know what to look for. Usually, I have a pretty good idea of like where I think they're going to go. It's like, I, I was out of that competition completely. And it was like, it was one of those things where it's like, you know, Julie was like, that was clearly Julie pitched that in the meeting. So she's like, I got no <laughs> idea. We take all these, you know, shots of me. Dancing with the outfits. It's like it was like so. Someone was probably like, "All right, we got to do it." We'll put it at the end. <laughs> also, by the Zing way, Bok, they Zing Bok made an appearance. Oh yeah, that yeah. I like. That I like. <laughs> they told her you could only do it if Zigbot could get in there. So they, they snu- <laughs> she's probably pissed, but they snuck him in at the end. Yeah. I also like how they abandoned the music fest thing, like literally, like four weeks ago. None of the competitions have even remotely been themed to what this. <laughs> This year, I was like, there was definitely a shift between they're like, all right, we we can't even think of like how to turn this into like a music fest or a <laughs> competition. It's now it's just like haunted houses and fashion. I'm like, well, okay, all right, I'm down for it. But uh, yeah, I kind of I kind of liked it. I thought it was cool. I don't think I've ever seen Julie like be a part of the like a competition like that. So I was like, all right, Julie, talk your shit. I like that. It's well, just. Um- it was it was second to um, the running with styrofoam to go restaurant cases that you take from <laughs> you take your leftover moment. That was, <laughs> yeah, that looked like just a kid's birthday a- party. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like you know the parents are on the budget this year. We can't go to bounce you. We're gonna get styrofoam. <laughs> We're gonna make a little game out of it. Uh, also, what do you think about Turner's lingo? I don't know if we talked about that. The bus um, in, oh my God. Okay, let me ask you this, Patrick. Do people talk like that? Not really. I mean, maybe I'm like the anomaly, but I've heard people say like that. On Tessie. Like, Tessie so, does that stuff. Does she really? Social me- yeah. Bussin, bussin. Like, but. Bussin, uh, like I've like I've heard people use that like unironically, but I, I people use it ironically but he's like yeah that's mid is a big one though mid is like you know that shit's mid yeah like that's like eh. that one i've heard a lot but Got it. Okay. So like- i didn't know i thought it was like he came up with his own little lingo and then i was like trying to like keep up and then like they kind of spelled it out for you like they showed it to you and then yeah. and then it, as soon as they took that graphic off the screen and he said a phrase i was like i had forgotten all about what <laughs> yeah. that one was here <laughs> Yeah, he was like mega, mega bussing. I was like, all right, this fucking guy. <laughs> I'm trying to think back to the um, BB comics and think about any of like the funny ones um, that people had, but I don't, re- it's been so long that I don't remember any of those. But I want to, I'm going to, whose was? Turner's was funny. I think it was, I, I think, was it, well, what they about definitely made Brit it. Brit Flea. Yeah. Fucking stupid. <laughs> Yeah, because they definitely made it before, like we find out who these people actually are. The and people it's like, that, that like definitely... don't aren't like good have like the worst <laughs> comics possible. Like Brit Flea, yeah. like what does that even mean? Like that's not even yeah. a superhero. <laughs> She's a Flea. So, yeah. is she half Flea, half Britney. Is that what that was? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess because she has a cat. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> but like they definitely like definitely made all of those before like they all played so they had like these generic things about themselves like like turner's was like i think it had to do with a rug or something yeah. but i was like why did they do it like like he, taylor's he was po taylor chip oh uh, okay so maybe they did because i was like why why would they make fun of turner again like that's an easy like the slap man or something where it's just like he does a shower or something kyle's was yeah <laughs> He was. <laughs> it was. It was a uh, Heil Kyler. <laughs> it's just him in a Nazi uniform. It was really fucked up. <laughs> Alt right Kyle. <laughs> so if you guys have any fun comics, put that down in the comments. <laughs> 
be really, really vague or really, really like <laughs> cool. The, the, the <laughs> views of Patrick are just of Patrick's and not of the out to sea <laughs> show or anybody else involved with it. Those are Patrick's <laughs> views. Those are mine. Yeah. I, I came that, up with I'll another put, one, I'll but I'm not going to say end. it. <laughs> <laughs> say it. No, say it now. I mean, it's Kyle, and you can do something with Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> like the alt right. <laughs> like you can definitely. Okay. We'll workshop it. We'll workshop it. I, <laughs> it's me, funny because yeah, funny I'm, not, I'm not editing that out. Like, that's staying. No, you shouldn't. You're not attached to my social media. <laughs> All right. Well, all right. well anyway. shit, man. It's been a good recap. Um, way to way to end it. <laughs> anything, <laughs> anything else that you guys could think about um, before we sign off here? So, who, who's everybody's top pick to win? I got Monty. Yeah, I'm with Monty as well. Uh, I'm going to go Taylor. I think Taylor's going to win. Yeah, you're hard on Taylor. I, I so, what do that. we have left to watch? So, we have this wednesday and thursday right yes. yes she said that the finale is on the 22nd so I, I believe that's sunday yeah are they gonna do that thursday episode where they just sit around the table and and pretend like they're talking oh. about it and we see shitty clips <laughs> probably you mean the jury oh. round table <laughs> wait one other thing oh did you i know you notice about. this did you notice this when um when julie was talking to Alyssa? And she's like, uh, uh, okay, I'm going to throw a break, but like when we come um, later on, I'm going to talk more. And she goes, absolutely fucking lootly. Did she say that? <laughs> because Julie, <Alyssa. laughs> I felt like that. She, Alyssa, look back at that little clip and tell me if she said, and Julie went, oh, like it was like, oh, like, like it was like this, like <laughs> awkward. She just <laughs> absolutely or absolutely friggin' lootly, whatever it was, it was like, it shocked Julie Chen Moonves. And she was like, oh, you could say that. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So she's just, like, "Fuck yeah, Julie, let's do it!" <laughs> All right. Can you guys promise that you'll look back at that after, right after? Yeah. This? Okay. Yeah. That's so funny. Wait, I'm saying you mean the shitty clips, like when they look back on the season? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. when they're like when they're like that hey, like guys, filler they're, episode. Yeah, they're like drinking. Yeah. Like, they're like dr- yeah, it's a filler episode. They drink a generic coke and like they're like <laughs> they're like having a coke and they're like um. Hey, remember that time Turner didn't take a shower for like 16 days? <laughs> and then like then there's like a yeah. shower, then they showed you this clip of that. But the funny thing is, is that for the for several seasons, they'd be like, and we have a bonus episode on Friday. And I'd be like, turn it on, I'll excite it. And then I realized, oh, it's that shitty generic Coke around the table <laughs> clip yeah. show. Where it's like they get every, they get like a spread of bagels and they're like, there were a lot of scares this season. And it's everybody <laughs> scaring each other. <laughs> You're like, oh, that's great. And then we see all the clips of people like we don't like. It's like hey, Daniel freaking out, Tur- <laughs> Tur- Tur- Terrence. It's like shut Muffin up, nobody Gate. cares. <laughs> Mu- oh my god, dude, Muffin Gate's gonna come up in that episode, and I'm gonna turn it off immediately. I hate that. <laughs> Daniel, the Elvis impersonator. Yeah. Oh, my what a god. miss! What a miss on that one. Um, but oh my god. yeah. But yeah, I am excited to see how it ends. I hope there is a jury round table with Dr. Will. That'd be fun. Those are yeah. always fun. I like to see people get mad at each other for stuff. So, Because I, I think I think a lot of people are going to get upset with Michael during that. That'll be hey, fun. You, um, you know, Gramps is a loyal watcher of both this show, your show, and also Big Brother now because of this show. You should just give him a shout out. Shout out to my grandfather, Gramps. Thanks for watching. I hope you still <laughs> stayed all the way to this point. Pat, say hi to Gramps. Hi, Gramps. I think we should have him on. If we, if we, can, if we can get him to set up Zoom, we'll... Uh... You're going to need to go to the house. <laughs> yep, I'm definitely going to need to go to the house. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thank you, dude. Well, thanks, guys. Um, hopefully, we can... You know, come back on and recap what the heck happens towards the end of like right at the end here. Um, and yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs>